Hi there, and thank you for joining me for Ask Dr. Stacy. I am Dr. Stacy Cooper, health and wellness expert at drstacycooper.com, founder of Lifestyle Balance Solutions, creator of the Healthy Eating Blueprint and the Balance Living Academy, as well as author of the Healthy Fuels Cookbook. So thank you for joining me here today on Ask Dr. Stacy. This is a weekday program that I host at 12.15 Eastern, 9.15 a.m. Pacific, and you can join me every day of the week here on my Facebook page. You can just go to Lifestyle Balance Solutions, where all of our previous episodes are recorded and available for you. And they're all tagged with their label in regards to what we talk about that particular episode. So what I do is I help to show you healthy living tips for nourishing your body naturally for balance, vitality and better body function. You can eat well 100% of the time, but if other areas of your life are stressed, then your body still won't function well. And so we talk about quieting the mind, quieting the body, meditation, yoga, the benefits of exercise and different forms of exercise and the effects of exercise and what it does for your body and to your body. And also we talk about grains and legumes and other healthy fuels for the body where you can swap out bad fuels like wheat, dairy, and sugar, which are the three most inflammatory things you can put in your body, and swap in great fuels like quinoa flour, chickpeas, um, all different kinds of things that we've talked about previously that you can swap out and still get to have your favorites too. And that's what I've put into my cookbook. We're a family of six with four active teenagers in the house. And so everybody enjoys making the recipes and loves eating them too. So you can see my quinoa chocolate cake. Oh, I gave away the answer as to what the secret ingredient is. It is so healthy for you that you can even eat it for breakfast. So um, these are some of the things that I use. And of course, we don't have a chef in the kitchen. So all of the recipes have to hold and uh, I encourage you to site drstacycooper.com where you'll see other healthy living tips as well as my free two-part video series called Eliminate Your Five Hidden Energy Drainers. You can receive that for free as well. And the cookbook you can purchase through the website too if you have a, an, any interest. Now, as we go through these programs, if there are things that you like, that you hear, then be sure to like it, send some hearts, send some love, and share it with your friends. Because if you like what you're hearing and what I'm sharing, then more than likely your friends will be like-minded too and would appreciate hearing the information as well. And that's how Facebook works with their algorithms. So be sure to engage and share, and I would truly appreciate that. Thank you. This is a live Q&A, so as always, you can be sure to enter your questions right here mm -hmm. live on the chat, and I can answer them for you right as we go along through the episodes here. And um, today, we are talking about nourishing your body and hydration. Helps if I can type properly. Hi, today's top hydrated. I know that you can survive days, actually months, without food because of the adipose stores in your body, and you can only survive minutes without air. The other essential, vital um, thing that your body requires is water. Those three things, food, air, and water, are essential for life, as well as a functioning nervous system. Without a nervous system, you are not living. So that is another vital thing. But in regards to what we take into our body, air, water, and food. So water. We do require two liters of water a day for great function of the body. You can only survive three days without water, so it is an essential factor in your life. Now, a lot of people come up and say, oh, I can't stand the taste of water, it's so tasteless, I eat liters a day. Well, we do talk specifically about fluids and how they affect the body, and not all fluids are created today on my free webinar. And you can go to gethealthyquickstart.com 
second um, pre-training videos and the webinar that I hosted yesterday. Just go to gethealthyquickstart.com and you can register there for the free videos and the free webinar. And we talked in depth about fluids in the body, how it affects the body, what fluids are classed as diuretics, which actually take water out of your body, which you may not have known. And I know a lot of people didn't know that caffeinated beverages do this. So don't think that drinking your cup of coffee is going to help increase your fluid intake because it actually doesn't. So that is something that you do want to take note of. So just go to gethealthyquickstart.com and you get all right there for free. Thinking about taking water into the body, it's important to some of the tricks that I use and recommend to my patients and clients is to measure out your two liters at the beginning of the day and have it sitting there with you. So whether it be on your desk or you know in your vehicle with you or whatever kind of work that you do, have it with you because it's a lot harder to not drink it if it's not available and it's um, a lot harder to not drink it if it's not staring you in the face so when you see it sitting there that's a great reminder like oh okay time for me to take some more time for me to take some more and when you've measured out your two liters then you can see exactly how much you've consumed and how much is still waiting to be consumed the next thing that i will tell you is that it's great to be sure that you get it all consumed by early evening. So by 6 p.m., those two liters need to be ingested in if they're not and disturb your sleep cycle. And this is not what we're after at all. Sleep is another very important component to healthy living. And we do talk about that in our previous episodes. So check that one out too. Some healthy sleep habits in the sleep routine so that you can nourish your body with restful, restorative sleep. So be sure to get your two liters consumed before 6 p.m. So your body has the opportunity to metabolize, utilize, and excrete any water that it needs to before it's bedtime to have a restful sleep. Now, what you can do with your water. For those of you that really need to have something different and not just water, infusing it with healthy, natural, whole foods is a great way to change the taste of your water without changing its efficacy or adding any unnatural sugars, which again is the diabetic connection, simple sugars, bad, bad, um, or colors or which can be said coloring is tremendous effect behavior and, um, and does not work well in the body at all. And so you can see a lot of this evident in children and the foods that they consume. So get rid of any dyes, food colorings, and unnatural additives. It really is not great for the body. It leads to more stress within the body because now an extra step is needed to filter and remove these toxins and chemicals. And a lot of them can't be degraded and metabolized and they're stored in the liver and kidneys. And this becomes leads the body to become toxic. And then behavioral issues can stem directly from this. I've seen it right before to clients. So it is something that's easy to remove when you're mindful about what you're putting in your body. And the body does truly function much better when you're not toxic, which affects activity and brain and then behavior. So what you can do is um, add fruits or herbs or vegetables to your water. A great refreshing drink is where you just put fresh strawberries and some mint leaves and basil leaves and just let it infuse in your water. Add ice cubes, let it chill, and let it sit. And it's a delicious, refreshing drink. Another great one is cucumber with some honeydew melon and some berries if you like, or even just dark berries. Put some raspberries, r strawberries, blueberries into your water. You can also place the fruit into your ice cube tray and then fill your ice cube tray with fresh, clear water, freeze them, and then have these put in bottles and help to infuse it that way keep it cold longer as well. Now, another great alternative that you can use, remember I talked about um, with it being summertime, people love iced tea. 
Iced tea is great, but just be careful what kind of teas you're using. So we did mention briefly about caffeinated beverages, coffee and teas. Caffeine is a diuretic and it takes water out of your body. This is not helpful. This leads to dehydration in the body. For every cup of caffeinated beverage that you take, you need to then take and ingest two cups of water to replace what was taken and lost from your body from the caffeinated beverage that you consumed. So when you're making iced tea, a great alternative, and my family is really enjoying this, is caffeine free. That's the key component. They're naturally caffeine free. So when you use those teas, there is no caffeine. Now the reason why you don't want decaffeinated tea is because an al or decaffeinated coffee or anything like that decaffeinated is because an alkylation process has been used to remove the caffeine. This actually adds more chemicals to the substance in order to remove the caffeine and strip it away which then leads to you ingesting more toxins and chemicals. So you were better off mm. drinking the caffeinated beverage in the first place. If you have to have coffee, don't go with decaf unless it's a cold pressed um, process, not the alkylation process. So that has to be specifically indicated on the package when you're purchasing. So back to our iced teas. Na herbal teas, naturally caffeine free. There's great berry teas. There's Egyptian licorice tea, which is naturally caffeine free. Orange teas, citrus lime teas. All of these, you can just um, brew the, boil the water, brew the tea in the pitcher, and you can add, we just use uh, citrus orange, peeled an orange and just split it in half and then just sliced it that way and put that in the water as well while it was still hot to allow those natural flavors to infuse into the tea. And I just sweetened it with unpasteurized honey. You want all natural honey unpasteurized because pasteurization is a heating process and it kills all the beneficial um, components to the honey. Honey is a great natural antibiotic. It's a complex sugar, so it doesn't spike blood sugar levels like white table sugar. So it's a great sweetener for your iced teas. And of course, these start out hot and then you let them cool and then ice them. Great summer refreshing drink with fruits on the side as well on the rim and um, over ice. So unpasteurized honey is what you want to sweeten with in regards to your iced tea, it dissolves well in the hot water and just sweeten it to taste. And you will find that as you start to shift and your dry pause and the sugared beverages and the carbonated whatever pops and, and all that, and also the Gatorades and things which are so full of food colorings and dyes and things that your body does not need, boy, do they do a great job at marketing to get you to buy those things. Switch over to natural, caffeine-free herbal teas to create your own healthy iced teas and everyone will benefit much better from it, especially as the weather gets hotter and you're losing that much more water from your body. It is super important to stay well hydrated through the summer season. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today and learning how to hydrate your body better with two liters of water a day cold, clean, filtered water is the best way to go. But if you want to add flavor, infuse it with natural fruits, herbs, vegetables, cucumber, melons, orange slices, anything that you like, switch it up, change it up, and you'll find your new favorite. And also naturally caffeine-free herbal teas. Great way to make your own homemade iced tea much cheaper, much better for you, and great flavor. Here's to enhancing your vitality and nourishing your body naturally with Dr. Stacy Cooper. You can always find more information at my website. Just go to drstacycooper.com. And don't forget, you can learn more at the gethealthyquickstart.com. Just enter your name and email address there. And there's already two pre-training videos on kicking your cravings to the curb for good. And also my free webinar is there with lots of healthy living tips and more beneficial information for you. So thank you for joining me. And we'll see you next time on Ask Dr. Stacy. Weekdays at 12 15
I 